proteins. We often think about them in the context of how much protein, fat, and sugar there is in certain foods. But what are they really? Let's imagine the cell as a Rube Goldberg machine. You know, one of those deliberately complex contraptions where a single input, perhaps placing a ball on a ramp, sets into motion a series of precisely positioned simple devices that propagate the signal through the machine until ultimately accomplishing a simple task. Perhaps switching on a coffee maker. Now, in the cell, the simple parts of the machine are typically proteins. And the cell does not contain one Rube Goldberg machine, but thousands of them, all intertwined, all performing simple tasks with a single purpose, to stay alive. In this mesmerizing dance, some proteins have a very defined single function, while others can influence a myriad of processes, often by adding little bits and pieces onto the existing protein machinery. My task as a graduate student is to decipher the function of one of these modifier proteins in a single cell parasite that causes the sleeping sickness. So far, we found out what it looks like, but we need to know so much more. Why does it modify some proteins and not the others? Can it be turned off? And if so, why and when would that happen? The answer to these questions will increase our understanding of the inner workings of a deadly human parasite, as well as paint a picture of how similar proteins could function in other organisms.